Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah, also known as Slaterella. This is one of 13 other looks that I'm doing for the month of October. This is my version of the Cheshire Cat. So let's go ahead and get right on in to this video. So the first thing that I went ahead and did was start by applying foundation and powder to my face. You might also notice that some of the footage doesn't exactly match up perfectly. That's because I accidentally deleted 10 minutes of footage. So here we are recording it all over again. I had and started by applying some pink shadow all over my contouring zones. And then I actually took that pink shadow and applied it pretty heavy handed onto the tip of my nose to give it that cat like appearance. Same thing on the forehead, go ahead and apply it to your contouring zones. And then the next thing that I did was went ahead and applied some purple shadow to those exact same areas to kind of deepen the contour up a little bit more, as well as add some purple into my face just to kind of give that Cheshire Cat coloration some cohesiveness. And then I did apply this shadow onto my neck and brought it down quite a bit. Even though I did end up going in with face paint, I didn't know if at that time I was going to or not. So you actually don't need to do that step. Next thing that you're going to want to do is apply the purple shadow to your nose to kind of contour it. And then I actually dragged that purple down, but I didn't drag it all the way down and kind of let it fade into that pink tip where my nose is. I took this color, the same pink that I used on my contouring zones in my crease and really, really blended everything together and winged it out. And then I actually went ahead and took this purple, same thing in my crease and kind of dragged it onto my nose contour. That way everything blended together. Added this to my lower lash line. And then I went ahead and blended everything out. Applied some yellow eyeshadow to my lid to give it that cat eye appearance. And then went ahead and applied a winged liner as well. And you want this wing to be fairly dramatic, so don't be afraid to really, really make it big. After that, I took it and dragged my inner corner down quite a bit. And then I actually applied a second inner corner wing a little bit further towards my pupil or my iris. That way you get a really, really dramatic inner corner. Give that cat-like appearance. Go ahead and apply some lashes because you know your girl needs lashes. Now that our lashes are on, our mascara's on, we're going to start by painting the mouth on. So I started by painting the white teeth on. And I'm starting with white just because white is a lot easier to cover with black paint than black is to cover up with white. So start by drawing on the teeth. You don't need to make them too, too perfect because you're actually going to go in later with a black water activated paint and a detailing brush to really detail everything, get the shape where you want it to be and so on. You can see I went ahead and filled in half my mouth with the black water activated paint in a detailing brush. And these are all water activated paints like I said so they wipe off easily with water if you do happen to mess up a little bit. After that we're going to go ahead and draw in our little swirlies. And then this is where I'm going in and thickening up that line that I drew in the middle of those little ovals to create that upper and lower jawline. Now we're going to go ahead and apply some pink eyeshadow to the outer parts of this mouth to kind of create the lips. And then on the top I actually used this little brush to kind of create an upper and lower lip but I wanted that cupid's bow appearance so I did kind of give it that little bit of a dip in the middle. Now we'll apply some whiskers. I'm doing three. Same thing, water activated paints. Detailing brush. Go ahead and make those whiskers. And now we're gonna start by applying some water activated paint to our forehead to create that fur-like appearance. 
So the first thing that I went ahead and did was took some pink water activated paints and another detailing brush to kind of create these little cat like stripes. And I went in with a smaller brush and some purple face paint again to get that Cheshire cat appearance and give it a little bit more dimension. And we're going to do three of these on our forehead. And I wanted to make the one in the middle of my forehead a little bit bigger than the ones on the side just to kind of make it the centerpiece of everything. And now we're going in with those same colors on our neck and we're just drawing lines. What's really nice about this is the fact that you don't need to be too neat about it. So I'm just kind of going in between with the purple and the pink and then the purple and then the pink. Same thing to get those stripes that you want as a cat would have. Well, sorry if you hear my dog snoring in the background. She literally has to be next to me at all times because she is a pug and that is apparently what pugs need in their life. Yeah, I see you. She's literally wagging her tail. After that, I went ahead and took those same purples um, from the water activated paints and just applied that to the outer edge of my face just to kind of give it, again, that cohesiveness that you want with the look. And then I actually ended up adding another purple ring after the last pink stripe that I made on my chest, putting some space buns in, and that completes this look, you guys. What is this? This is going to probably be my fifth look out of the 13, so make sure that you subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will catch you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.